type of day, beautiful people, type of day. I do apologize for my major tardiness today. Guys, I ain't never been this late. In the last over two years, we've been doing this. Let me tell you something. Y'all know yesterday was Josh's birthday. It was out. We went, did two bike rides. We did a bike ride about 11 that morning, came back then. After we had got back home, we had ate and everything. We went out for another bike ride, girl. Ladies, I, th I think it was that. Uh, I do apologize. And I overslept. Like, I opened my eyes. Like, when I put the message up there, I was just opening my eyes. Like, seriously, just be honest with you. Just, just let everybody know. Let the saints know. I overslept, y'all. Forgive me. <laughs> okay. It is October the 22nd, 2020. Day... 282 of year two of reading through the books of the law and prophets leisha peaceful risings peaceful risings remember of the two year consecutive day count it is day 646 all right so i don't really have a bunch of stories for y'all today i really don't so because i'm already behind like i ain't hear my clock or nothing y'all i was i must have been extremely tired so All right, y'all, let's get started. Psalm 59. Rescue me from my enemies, O Yah. Protect me from those who have come to destroy me. Rescue me from these criminals. Save me from these murderers. They have set an ambush for me. Fierce enemies are out there waiting, Yahuwah, though I have not sinned or offended them. I have done nothing wrong, yet they prepare to attack me. Wake up, see what is happening, and help me. O Yahuwah, the God of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, wake up and punish those hostile nations. Show no mercy to those wicked traitors. Betwabu, betwabu, traitor, betwabu. They come out at night snarling like vicious dogs as they prowl in the streets. Listen to the filth that comes from their mouths, their words cut like swords. After all, who can hear us, they sneer. But Yahuwah, you laugh at them. You scoff at all the hostile nations. You are my strength. I wait for you to rescue me. For you, O oh Yahuwah, are my fortress. In his unfailing love, Yahuwah will stand with me. He will let he will let me look down in triumph over all my enemies. Don't kill them, for my people soon forget such lessons. Stagger them with your power and bring them to their knees. O oh Yahuwah, our shield, because of the sinful things they say, because of the evil that is on their lips, let them be captured by their pride, their curses, and their lies. Destroy them in your anger. Wipe them out completely. Then let the whole world know that Yahuwah, Israel, God, reigns. My enemies come out at night, snarling like vicious dogs as they prowl in the streets. As they prowl the streets, they scavenge for food but go to sleep unsatisfied. But as for me, I will sing of your power. Each morning I will sing with joy about your unfailing love. For you have been my refuge, a place of safety when I am in distress. O oh, my strength, to you I sing praises. For you, O oh, Yahuwah, you are my refuge, the God who shows me unfailing love. Psalm chapter 60. You have rejected us, O Yah, and broken our defenses. You have been angry with us. Now restore us to your favor. You have shaken our land and split it open. Seal the cracks for the land trembles. You have been very hard on us, making us drink wine. Making us drink wine that is that sent us reeling. But you have raised a banner for those who fear you. A rally point in the face of attack. Now rescue your beloved people. Answer and save us by your power. Yahuwah has promised this by his holiness. I will divide up Shechem with joy. I will measure out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh too. Ephraim, my helmet, will produce my warriors. And Judah, my scepter, will produce my kings. But Moab, my wash basin, will become my servant. And I will wipe my feet on Edom and shout in triumph over Philistia. Who will bring me into the fortified city? Who will bring me victory over Edom? 
Have you rejected us, O Yahuwah? Will you no longer march with our enemies? Oh, please help us against our enemies, for all human help is useless. With Yahuwah's help, we will do mighty things, for he will trample down our foes. Last chapter for the day, y'all. Maybe we should read another one. Uh, 61 is on like eight verses. Okay, we'll go to 62. Psalm 61. O oh, you who will listen to my cry, hear my prayer from the ends of the earth. I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the towering rock of safety, for you are my safe refuge, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. Let me live forever in your sanctuary, safe beneath the shelter of your wings. For you have heard my vows, O Yahuwah. You have given me an inheritance reserved for those who fear your name. Add many years to the life of the king. May his years span the generations. May he reign under Yahuwah's protection forever. May your unfailing love and faithfulness watch over him. Then I will sing praises to your name forever as I fulfill my vows each day. All right, y'all, last chapter for the day, Psalm chapter 62. And this one's still short, too. This is only 12 verses. I wait quietly before Yah, for my victory comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress, where I will never be shaken. So many enemies against one man, all of them trying to kill me. To them, I'm just a broken down wall or a tottering fence. They plan to topple me from my high position. They delight in telling lies about me. They praise me to my face, but curse me in their hearts. Let all that I let all that I am wait quietly before you who for who for whom I'm sorry. Let all that I am wait quietly before you who for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honor come from Yahuwah alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. Oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for Yahuwah is our refuge. Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind, and the powerful are not what they appear to be. If you weigh them on scales, together they are lighter than a breath of air. Don't make your living by extortion or put your hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the center of your life. Yahuwah has spoken plainly, and I have heard it many times. Power, O oh Yahuwah, belongs to you. Unfailing love, O oh Yahuwah, is yours. Surely you repay all people according to what they have done. And that, my beautiful people, is our reading for today. That was Psalm 59, 60, 61, and 62. And again, it is October the 22nd, 2020, Thursday, day 282 of year two of reading through the books of the Law and the Prophets, also known as the Old Testament. Or, remember the first five books is the Torah. Some people call it the Tanakh. Anyway, we're talking about Genesis through Malachi. And of the two-year consecutive day count, we had days 640. 46. Remember, that is without the Sabbath days added in, nor the feast day Sabbath days added in. Why? Because we rest on those days. We try to keep as close to Yahuwah's commands as possible. Wrong book. Okay. As we return to him. Uh, okay. Alright. I was watching, um, Tayo Ministries, if y'all watch Tayo Ministries, it's the end of the world. That's how I remember what the Tayo stands for. It's actually the acronym to the end of the world. Uh, yeah, the end of the world ministries. So they call it Tayo Ministries, right? So um, they were looking at one of the videos of one of the ladies. Her name is, um, um, mm, 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 forgot her name. But anyway, she was a part of the Urban Apologist group who don't necessarily believe that uh we are the people but it's crazy because they're our own people and they don't have any kind of good arguments that come up why we're not the people like seriously they don't really use any kind of scripture don't even look at historical documents they just it's like that i i really don't understand what their purpose is i'm like they, these guys don't have any kind of proof like it's like they totally i like i really don't know why they started because they don't even how can I say it they 
they ignore all proof, historical documents, and everything. Like it's like they just there. You ever you ever come across somebody that just want to argue with you for the sake of arguing? Like that's that's all. It's like that's all that they do. They don't care about your proof, your evidence. They'll they'll argue that you white when they can clearly see your skin is black. And it's like, what is wrong with you? Like it's I I don't understand them. You know I don't know. I personally think that I don't know. Either they are come. I don't know that something is completely over their eyes or they, 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 they have to be mobbed. They have to know what they're doing because it's like, this is ridiculous. Like who would even waste their time arguing with you people, you know? And what's crazy is a lot of them look like us. I'm like, bruh, what is wrong? Like, uh, mm, I don't, I don't know what to say about the urban apologists. But you will see some people saying that they're plants, <laughs> uh, like people, uh, infiltrators and stuff. And I don't doubt that one bit. But even some of the stuff that they say is, is absolutely ridiculous to me. It's like they it's, it's like they deny everything in front of their face. I, I don't think they ever open the Bible a day in their life. It's I'm just like, but anyway, one of the ladies, uh, I forget her name. Um, she... Apparently, she got kicked out of their group <laughs> because apparently she is starting to see some of the truth and it was causing conflict with the infiltrators and stuff. So they kicked her out of the group. So now she's doing her own videos, pretty much starting to tell the truth. And I've seen a couple people commenting on like, wait a minute, is she waking up? Hold on. Oh, she had to rethink this now that she didn't get kicked out her group. The urban apologists don't want her no more when she started speaking truth. You know, and some people's like, yeah, sis, come on over here on the side of truth. I, I thought it was funny, but it's, you know, I was like, this is pretty interesting. You know, so I, I wonder what clicked inside her head. I, I ain't going to say I wonder what. I know it's Yahuwah. Come on, time for you to wake up now. This is... It's your turn, you know, because Jehovah said he began waking us up one by one, you know. Um, so and sometimes there's a big group mass awakening, you know, but we can see people. It's like, you know how you play, uh, I don't know. I, I can't even say that. I don't know. It's like Yahuwah picks people. Okay, it's your time to wake up. Sometimes you talk to people and it's like, it seems like they're just not like getting it. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what? It's like you're speaking a whole different language and they can't understand until it's time for them to understand. Like, they will not understand and they're going to argue down. Some may just not argue at all, but they just they can't understand what you're saying. But like, the veil is still completely over their eyes and their ears are plugged up and they, they truly cannot see and they truly cannot hear, you know, until Yahuwah has been waking them up. But it was almost like, I'm like, oh, snap. It was like just yesterday, sis. It was like, you people are... You know, now she's like, we the people? I'm like, okay, something has, oh, it must have been your turn to wake up. You know, so it's it's exciting to me to see those of our people, especially the ones that's been hardcore, like, oh, get out of here. It's just like, wait a minute, hold on. And it's like a bug finally come on for them. They're like, wait a minute, I've been black all my life? I thought I was white or, you know, y'all get what I'm saying. You know, that was the best analogy I could think of at this moment. But yeah, that was, um, I, when I get her name, I'm going to post it down here in the comment section for y'all that actually want to go look and I'll post a video, um, from it yesterday with Tail Ministries when they were talking about it. You know, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the live comments that was going on during the whole thing, um, because it was talking about it. Then they took her video and they played portions of it, you know, um, and it, it was, it was, I, I thought it was really good. So, you know, but anyway, y'all numbers chapter six is where the blessing is found in the first 21 verses is the Nazarite vow. Look into it if you don't know what it is, but I think everybody present know who it is, but twabu, but twabu. And the last few verses, one, two, three, four, five, six, the last seven verses, 22 through 27 is a blessing. And you who will speak unto Moses and speak unto Aaron and unto his son, saying on this wise, ye shall bless the children of Israel, saying unto them, May you who will bless us and keep us. May you who will make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. May you who will lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace. And they shall put my name upon the children of Israel and I will bless them. All right, beautiful people, if y'all keeping up with it, 
the last i was shocked that they actually put on another one but they're actually going to do a final presidential debate tonight at 8 no 9 p.m eastern standard time with president trump and former vice president biden so it's gonna probably be a circus again tonight you know so but i'm gonna be sitting back watching it you know um i don't know i don't know that this is because of all that has transpired between the first one and this one if it's gonna be a little more tame or if it's gonna be another complete circus like i think they're gonna take all the breaks off before go time and it's i don't know but i don't really know which way it's gonna go tonight i i, I don't know i don't know but we'll see we'll see if they have any questions to answer or talk about the plight of our people so i'm always excited to hear that but um I got no more comments on that. I do, but I'm going to keep them to myself. All right, y'all. But that's it. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. I will be on time tomorrow. I'm not going to oversleep tomorrow, y'all. I promise y'all. I'm going to be on time. 7.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love you, beautiful people. See you in the morning. Peace.